Welcome. Gemini, Cancer, Moon people. This is the Aries Taurus New Moon reading. Aries in the sidereal Taurus in the Western Tropical. And for you, that is Gemini in the sidereal, your soul sign astrology. This is the astrology that is what you know, you know, you know. That intuitive voice that you download into your Cancer. Tropical Western astrology, your emotional reactions. Now, our moon sign is extremely important important because it inspires our action. It inspires the action and the personality of the sun sign. This new moon is conjunct Uranus. Uranus after a seven year stint in Aries is now in Taurus. Taurus is in your 11th house. And so you have 11th house energy with Mercury now in your 11th house as well as the moon, Uranus, but Mars is in your eighth house. And so Great Mother's coming through as we are but stardust to connect with those of us who are alienated from her unconditional divine love due to our birth mother experience. You want to know about Mama Drama Trauma? Go to mamadramatrauma.info, the area of my coaching specialization, which is inner work. The inner space that you're approaching this new moon with ginger cancer is Gemini Cancer is the Jesus energy. Jesus energy is the law of soul guidance and guardianship. You feel protected. You feel guided. You are either feeling this way in a tremendous sense, or Great Mother's coming through to confirm for you that you are. This is the single yin, third quarter moon card, that is saying that it is time to release, forgive, and let go of anything that is not allowing you to feel so if you do not. The law of soul guidance and guardianship is all about each and every soul being guided and guarded along our path. Of course, this deck is based on the 49 scenes of the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy is the poster child for healing mama drama trauma. Now, your transformative opportunity is the Isis card. It's the same when Dorothy is crying. She's completely dismayed as Miss Gold has taken Toto from the farm. This is a root chakra full moon card transforming for you this new moon, Gemini Cancer Moon people, is an opportunity for you to self-mother, for you to reground yourself in taking care of yourself. Now we know the sun is in Taurus as well and so you have this solar energy, this mercurial energy, Uranus and lunar energy that is all about supporting you to reground yourself in yourself through radical self-care. This is how those of us who are breaking the cycle of mama drama trauma are able to live in loving detachment from the drama mama. Now drama mamas uh, are also victims of the cycle because it is a vicious family cycle. She had mama drama trauma as well but when she is unwilling, unable, and unavailable to heal, loving detachment is required from her in order for us to release and to diffuse the trigger to being in her presence. So maybe you feeling guided and guarded at this particular time is allowing you to take more time and space to reground yourself. If you're not feeling that, Great Mother wants you to know that you do have the guidance and the guardianship, the protection that you need to take care of yourself, the time and space that you need to do that. She doesn't want you to overlook that at this particular time you're processing all this. And so all indications will point to you're processing your guidance and your need to self-mother yourself through your relationships with others. Now, this is the 11th house energy I've been talking about, which symbolizes Aquarian energy. Mars is, in fact, in Aquarius in your 8th house. And so you're undergoing some type of rebirth, some type of regeneration insight as it relates to your friendships, your cliques, people who are close to you. This is very important because there may be, if you haven't already experienced, a sudden change with regard to your your click or perhaps even your um, close friends, your public image um, that you're making at this particular time because you are 
developing a new way of seeing yourself through this self-mothering or you you know that you need to self-mother in order to develop a new sense of being there's some endings that are occurring in relationships perhaps and this is indicated by the prostitute card the prostitute card is telling us that there are some relationships that really don't serve or honor the authentic you you're selling yourself out for these relationships gemini cancer moon people in some way and the ankh is our symbol for the second chakra the second chakra is ruled by jupiter which is in libra scorpio at this time so there may be some need for you to actually really focus on what is being um what is being amplified for you? You know, what is being shown to be ways in your daily life or that you're serving others or that you are um, taking care of your health needs as it relates to others that isn't being fulfilled. You know, maybe you are... Um, out of balance with these friendships and it's and it's making your health suffer maybe you are needing to completely reevaluate your self-worth as it relates to others because they're not seeing it so you, you see when they don't see our self-worth and we've gotten into a routine or we've got into a rut of how we interact with people we have to change it you know, we can't rely on other people to do that. And we can get into that mode if we haven't made a healthy transition from being a child into an adult. Which is why Great Mother Speaks Oracle Deck is a tool to healing mama drama trauma. It helps us make that transition. It helps us, in other words, do the work of loving detachment so that we can return to the mother-child relationship in a more healthy way based on unconditional love as opposed to unconditional need. So we grounding ourselves in our need to assert our wants and our needs in a genuine way is a higher energy of the prostitute. We're giving and we're sharing of ourselves because we want to, because we love to do it, because it actually is who and what we are about. Now, what we may need to release is a bad situation in order to do that. The Pachamama card is the scene when Dorothy does leave the farm. This is also root chakra, but this is waning gibbous moon phase. And so this has to do with being grateful for the lessons. I'm so glad we had this time together, you know. But, you know, to have a laugh and sing a song, you know, but before we know it, we have to go, you know, and, and it's time to go. It's time to leave that situation so that you can take care of yourself. And this is what's going to reground you. This is what's going to make you be reborn in a way that this Uranus can support you over the next seven years in shifting your energy so that you are able to make those associations meaningful to you, work for you in your daily life in, with regard to your health care and your service to the world as Libra in the sidereal and Scorpio in the Western are the Jupiter placements at this time in your sixth house the shadow position is inana embrace the shadow it's time for you to embrace what it is about you that you find to be an inconvenient truth what is it about you that you find difficulty accepting is it difficulty accepting that you are a divine child of the great mother father god who is dearly loved never condemned judged or left alone if that is indeed the fact, well then maybe that's why you're dancing with this feeling of neglect, abuse, and abandonment with everyone around you. And so you see what happens with mama drama trauma. We not only experience it with our mothers, but because that is our primal experience with love in our lives, whenever we interact with others, we project that energy onto others. They are treating us that way. They are rejecting us. They are neglecting us, which is what we see Dorothy doing here with Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. She's running home from being shooed off, neglected, rejected, dejected by Miss Gulch. She and Toto were kicked off of her property, and she's trying to tell Aunt Em and Uncle Henry, look what she's done to us. 
But they're busy, Root Chakra, trying to make money. They're getting the chicks ready for the market, right? And of course, they're loving adoptive parents. Soulmate. That's not how Dorothy is interpreting it in her physical, western, tropical mindset. She's interpreting that as being ignored. When in actuality, on a soul level, they are contracted to take care of her physical needs as their adoptive child. And so that's their focus. They're not trying to hurt her feelings, but that's what she experienced. And that's the hardest thing about Mama Drama Trauma is getting people to acknowledge it because we feel such guilt about it because we know our parents do the best that they can. Even still, she felt ungrounded, unsafe because emotionally she was traumatized. Okay, and that's the unseen world. That's what all these black and whites are about. These black and white cars. The seen, the unseen. And we exist in this world before we exist in the solar sun world. Okay? The sun world is what we exist in when we incarnate. But one day, we will release this body. And there won't be a sun sign. But there will always be a moon sign. So letting go of whatever it is that is causing the rejection, the neglect, to occur is what is really going to put you in this rebirth space of Aries at this time. And um, Aries is the sun sign in the sidereal at this time which is about that soul personality being expressed through you and it wants to experience I'm so glad we had this time together with someone it's wanting to let someone or a situation go with regard to this click uh, public image situation it's time for something to end it's not working you know, it's not working. And it wants to do something else. But in order to facilitate that something else, the ego is going to have to let go of feelings of victimization. So again, feeling that you've been done wrong, feeling that someone has not considered your needs, feeling that you have been ignored. And your wants and your needs, the Ankh, the second chakra, again, that Jupiter in your sixth house with regard to your daily needs, your health, your service to the world not being respected. You are going to have to do that for yourself, Gemini, Cancer, Moon people. And we can't value our own wants and needs, our own service to the world, our own health, our own well-being until we're reborn, 8th house, Mars in your 8th house, which is a great power, is a great energy. And you have Aries, sidereal soul astrology supporting this. Aries is, moon, is ruled by Mars. And this energy of the sun in your reading with this full moon card is saying that, hey, you don't have to sell yourself out. It's time for you to honor yourself. This is the scene when Dorothy is returning to the farm from meeting Professor Marvel on the side of the road who guilts her to returning back home. And this is just when the twister is kicking up because Great Mother is not allowing for this shallow desire of Dorothy's to come to fruition until she undergoes a journey of loving detachment to release the victimhood through self-mothering Processing her experience of her mother, be it her birth mother, be it her adoptive mother, that she's needing to process that just as you are, be it your earth mother, calling you to release anything that keeps you detached from the mother of all mothers. There are many incarnations of great mother, aren't there? Our adoptive, our surrogate, earth mother etc 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 we have so much love around us but it's hard to see when we are not focused on that and so loving detachment is a time in which we can do that and really really make a lot of headway with regard to our soul evolution because the outcome for you is Hakati the crossroads you are by the end of this lunar cycle Get your new moon wishes at greatmotherspeaks.info. And let's see how this comes to fruition in the full moon, which is in the center of your reading here with self-mothering and with Ishtar, the prostitute card. You'll be at a crossroads by the end of it. 
Gemini Cancer Moon people. And you will be ready to plant a new seed with regard to understanding that no one or nothing can take your birthright away from you. This is the scene when Dorothy is in the witch's castle and she tries to take those shoes but gets shocked. Those shoes symbolize your birthright as a divine child to be happy, healthy, and whole. It opens right up with you being protected and guided. And so by the end of this lunar cycle, Gemini Cancer Moon people, you will have a tremendous sense of that as a result of you being challenged with regard to this processing of a need to take care of yourself and to own your own emotions and to go into that internal space of not accepting your divinity, releasing your victimhood through reconnecting with Earth Mother. Going outside, taking a breath. It's really important to connect with the ground, the trees, the fairies. So that by the time you reach this crossroads, throat chakra, crescent moon, you can truly express first and foremost to and within yourself and then to others by planting new seeds in your relationship. Our relationships with those who are willing and able to move with your changes of how you need to be cared for, how you need to connect with what means the most to you in your life. Your suggested new moon readings therefore will be about self-worth and the reliability within yourself to rebirth these changes that are encouraged to occur within you. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking Gemini Cancer Moon people. But above all and most of all, remember Great Mother loves you and I do too. For more information about Mama Drama Trauma, visit MamaDramaTrauma.info.